Y'all niggas train sweet. What's good, everybody? What's good? It's your boy, 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 Cardinal Bud Crawford, or E. S. Red, if that's what you won't call me. And we are back for another one. Alright, y'all. New topic. New topic. New topic. Let's get this done real quick. Can Earl Spence Jr. price himself out of the Terrence Crawford super fight? Alright, y'all. So I'm seeing some people reporting that it's not Terrence Crawford who's pricing himself out, but that is Earl Spence Jr. pricing himself out of the undisputed fight. And I was just sitting thinking, I'm like, you know what? These people are very silly with their accusations. And I don't know if he posted it, you know, as a uh, trying to poke fun of the situation or trying to poke fun of the... Terrence Crawford fans, that might be why he posted it. But in all honesty, like, there's no way, no way in HE double hockey sticks, Earl Spence Jr. could price himself out of this fight. It's it's impossible because he is the A side because he holds all those title belts. Like all those title belts. Are the reason this fight is even coming together. This is what I don't get about Terrence Crawford fans, uh, channels, commentaries. You know, is is the fact that they they feel like what he did at 140 and 130 dictates what he's doing today at 147, and it's so irrelevant. To what's actually going on right now in the welterweight division that it's almost silly to even talk about it but we must talk about it <laughs> so can earl spence jr actually price himself out of this fight listen earl spence jr could ask for 50 million 60 million 100 million and it still wouldn't be pricing himself out because there is no fight without Earl Spence Jr. There's no undisputed without Earl Spence Jr. And if Terrence Crawford wanted to be the A-side in all of this goings on, he should have challenged himself two years ago. He should have challenged himself a year ago. He should have challenged himself when he was on the same promotional company as Manny Pacquiao. He shouldn't have waited until the fight is about to be signed until they actually offer you a contract because you complained that you weren't getting a contract that nobody was paying you any attention that Spence didn't want these fights that you know uh, we're not on the same side of the street you're not trying to make an undisputed you're not trying to make a, all of these excuses but when the fight is actually in your lap when the fight is ready to be signed now you're complaining about money which doesn't make sense and you've already been offered the biggest payday of your boxing career you've already been offered way more than you what you're worth and you, you're only basing your worth off of what you did in the past listen if if we were basing worth off what people did in the past that means that Earl Spence isn't worth anything because you have to base it off of what he did before he had those title belts and you know that that's completely stupid <laughs> because he is the unified champion he he did all the heavy lifting he did all the work already so for him to be asking for too much money is like a silly argument for Terrence Crawford to be asking for too much money is completely logical you know because he's bringing pretty much nothing to the table except for that one title belt and his past resume and if Earl Spence Jr. beats him if Earl Spence Jr. beats him when Earl Spence Jr. beats him it's gonna make everything that he did in the past look irrelevant anyway you know because he hasn't done any of that at, at 147 as a welterweight you need to be doing these things as a welterweight it's almost like Terrence Crawford should go ahead and sideline this fight he should actually step away Go fight some better competition and then come back in a in eight months or a year 
when your resume looks a little better. Go get a, 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 a Manny Pacquiao on your resume. Go fight Keith Thurman. Go fight Boots. You know, there are plenty of fights out there you can make to bolster up your resume. But the fact that you think that you're worth what Earl Spence is worth because of something you did three years ago is 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 a no go you know and i'm starting to feel like you know i i have been telling y'all for months a couple months now that this fight ain't gonna happen in 22 and i solely based that off of terrence crawford and his his unwillingness to negotiate his unwillingness to conform his un unwillingness to understand and you can tell how irrational he is based on the fact of how irrational his fans are because his fans really, truly believe that he's worth, you know, half. And it, it makes no logical sense. It makes zero logical sense. None of this stuff makes any sense when it comes to Terrence Crawford. This negotiating process. Uh, why we're waiting for so long. Why he truly believes he wants a 50% per split and I'll be I will be highly disappointed in Earl Spence Jr. if he actually gives this man a 50% per split if they actually go you know what F it you know uh, he actually deserves I'm gonna be so disappointed you know I might not even watch the fight because for, for them to drag it on this long and for Earl Spence to have done all this work you know, going around collecting all those title belts. That means that you don't even see your worth as what it actually is. You don't even see yourself as the um, as the breadwinner in this situation. You don't see yourself as the high uh, high ticket, high value fighter in this situation. You know, as much as I hated Mayweather, he was drawing in most of the pay per view views, so you couldn't argue with him when he wanted a higher purse split. When he wanted more money, okay. So if he's pulling in the majority of the views, you and you want to fight him, you gotta give him what he wants to put the fight on. It's your, uh, it's your responsibility to actually beat him, to to make the fight competitive and beat him and prove him wrong. Because if y'all do, uh, if you do beat him and you score a rematch, then you're gonna make umpteen millions of dollars in the rematch anyway. You know, we never got there with with Floyd Mayweather because Mayweather set it up to win all his fights so we never saw Mayweather go down to anybody and we never saw anybody be able to go back and recoup that money off a of Mayweather fight so you know I, I think it's unfortunate at this point that we've even come to this place to where people feel like it's Earl Spence parsing himself out but at the same time it shows the state of boxing and how horrible boxing really is as a fan as a boxer, you know, I feel sorry for Ter for Earl Spence having to go through this. But I think it is what it is. At the end of the day, I do feel like Terrence Crawford is going to lose when they do put this fight on. I feel like Terrence Crawford is going to take a huge hit from fans when he does lose this fight. Uh, when, whether it's 22 or 23 when it happens, it doesn't really matter. He's not going to win. And I guarantee, I'm almost guaranteeing he's not going to win. Will he retire after that? That's a very big possibility, but we have to wait and see. I'm done rambling for now. It's your boy, 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 Cardinal Bud Crawford, or E.S. Red, if that's what you want to call, man. And hit me up on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You're more than likely to get a response on YouTube, so holler at me over there if you want a response. Tell everybody about me. <laughs> it's your boy, 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 and we are. Holy kick, don't panic.